let us continue with game playing let's get started with the second part where we'll go through the crypt arithmetic problem one of my favorites and i'm sure you'll enjoy learning this one now what exactly are crypt arithmetic problems now please understand this whenever we are trying to transmit any particular message we need to encrypt it in such a manner that it is not readable to any person whom we do not intend uh, to read you need to understand that while encryption what we do is we assign certain codes to the data that we need to transfer and only someone who understands the decryption part should be able to read that particular message well we'll try and understand this with the help of a problem now if you look at this particular problem it says that the expression which i need to encrypt is send plus more and it should translate into money now the idea here is for each of these letters i need to assign a value from between 0 and 9 and that too in such a manner that when i actually add up these values it should add up to, to this now over here please remember that the values have to be from 0 to 9 and every letter should have a unique value that is you cannot have two letters uh, having the same value so let us see how exactly do we start with something like this now what i'll do is just to make things easier to understand i'll put the question over here this is what i'm trying to uh, encode i'll be putting in the values that i'll be using and i've drawn a small table over here where i'll be filling the values which have already been used so that i can always keep track of what are the characters or sorry what are the values that have already been used now how do i start now please understand whenever you are adding values there is always a possibility of a carry as in if you add say 5 and 4 it comes to 9 that is fine but suppose had i added say say 7 and 6 so it comes to 13 in that case if say this is 7 and this is 6 then it becomes 3, 13 so o takes 3 and then there is a carry never ever forget the possibility of having a carry whenever we are trying to solve any kind of a problem okay so how do i solve this one now for starting this one understand this the first character that you should always look at is this one right see over here once i add these two values obviously there is some carry which is going to get generated which will be the value given to m now if you see between 0 and 9 the two largest values which i can add are 9 and 8 so even if i add 9 and 8 which comes out to be 17 the only possible carry is 1 so whatever is the value that you add between 0 and 9 if at all there is a carry getting generated it will always be only 1 So one thing is for sure whatever be the problem the value for this letter m is going to be 1 so what i do is wherever i see m i'll fill in this 1 so i have now concluded that this variable sorry this this letter m will get this value 1 also i have made a record that the value 1 has already been used not to forget if i am assigning 1 to m out here even for this m i need to assign 1 so i now know exactly that these uh, uh, these letters say m they've got this value 1 okay now working from over here let me let me try and figure out the values that i can assign to the other letters now over here what i find is this is s and if i add m to it it is generating me a new value say for o now over here m is 1 and what i know is that it has to generate a carry which we've already considered for m so now that m is 1 s has to be such a value that when i add 1 to it in that case it will generate a carry for sure now suppose if I, if i take say s to be 8 and say m is 1 so 8 plus 1 over here then becomes 9 which obviously is not generating a carry so what exactly do i do I'll try the next value. Say I have S S A nine. Now when I add one to it, so nine plus one, this becomes ten. So I know that O gets the value zero and one gets this carried forward to M. So I've just concluded that S will get this value nine. So nine plus one, this becomes ten. So whatever is the character here, I can assign the value zero. and one gets carried forward so i've just understood that s will take this value 9 which i've already recorded and 9 plus 1 is 10 so what that indicates is that this letter o will now get the value 0 now if o is getting 0 here here also we have an o so that also gets a 0 so what i now know is that s has got the value 9 m gets the value 1 and o gets the value 0 kindly understand that for all the letters that we are still to decide i cannot reuse any of these values 
Now this is where the problem gets little trivial. We need to understand and now we need to be little careful while trying to assign values. Let me just try and think ki what is the value that I can assign to this letter E. Now the interesting part over here is I know that this value for O is going to be 0. Now E whatever the value of E if I add 0 to it this should have been E. But what I find is that E has some value even if I add 0 to it the value changes. Now the only possibility for something like this to happen is that there is a carry in this particular step gen being generated from this step because if I do if I ignore the possibility of a carry this is not going to happen. So one thing is for sure this step definitely has a carry. So this is the conclusion that I have made that whatever values I am putting in over here they will surely generate a carry over here so that when I add that value to 1 this being 0 only then I will get the value of n. So over here what I find is I have got an expression I have got some relation between e and n. So if I add e plus 1 it now becomes an n. At the moment I am not in a position to take a final call on what is the value of e or what is the value of n. But one thing is for sure, whatever is the value of E, if I add 1 to it, I will get the value of N. But at the moment, because I don't have anything conclusive with me, I am not assigning or I cannot assign a value to E or N. So at the moment, let's keep it pending. Let's, let's try and figure out what are the values that I can use over here, say for N and R. Also, not to forget that over here, I need to use the values in such a manner or there will be such values which are going to generate a carry for this to be true. So let me just figure out what are the different options that I have. 9 is gone for me. I have say 8 and 7, they can generate a carry for me. I can have add 8 and 6, 8 and 5. I have quite a few combinations possible. So at the moment directly I am not in a position to conclude something. Uh, I cannot assign a value to n, r or e for that matter. But what I understand over here is over here whenever I am adding these two values the value has to be more than 10 so that it generates a carry. So at the moment what I find is I can get another relation, relation between n and r. What I know is if I add n to r I don't know whether this step has a carry from over here. So when I write plus 1 in the bracket what I mean is I may or may not consider this value right but then this will come out as e plus 10 because what I know is n plus r I am getting the value e and there is a carry that is going to get generated. So at the moment I don't know the value but I at least know the relation between e and n and then I have also got an expression. Now, when I look at these two expressions, I am trying to figure out whether I can substitute one of the expressions in the other expression and then uh, try and figure out the value for one of the letters at least. What I do here is, I will substitute the value. I am substituting the value of n which I have in the form of e plus 1. If I substitute this over here, this, this letter n absolutely goes out. So over here, when I try and substitute the values, if you see, if you see, I've got this particular expression, I've got this particular expression. If I try and substitute the values and if I solve this, now please look at this. If I if I substitute the values, I've got this particular expression. So this is e plus 1 plus r is equal to e plus 10. Now over here, I may or may not consider this, this uh, as plus 1. Uh, uh, if, I, if needed, only then I'll consider the carry. Now over here, if I consider, if I don't consider this carry, this value, this value that I'm getting comes to say 9 e and e gets cancelled and accordingly I am getting the value of r as 9. But my problem here is what I know is that 9 has already been used by s so r cannot be 9. In such a case what I understand is I will need to I will need to consider this 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 carry so if if I assign some value to r and if I add carry to it r becomes 8. So over here what I have understood is that the value of r is now 8. Now that I have understood the value of r as 8 and I also know that there is a carry in this particular step, now the question is what are the values that I can assign for n and what is the value that I can get for e. Now if I if I need to decide something, I am still, I don't have anything conclusive so I will just try and figure out what are the values that I can put over here and once I get this then I guess things would be pretty obvious for us about the values that I need to place over here. Now please understand this, I have D, I have E and I need to get the value of Y. Now over here again what I see is that D plus E has to generate a carry which is going to go over here. 
Now, what I what, what I also find is that 9 has been taken care of, 8 has been taken care of. So, what are the different possibilities that I have for D and E so that they can generate a carry? I can have maybe 7 and 6, I can have maybe 5 and 6, I cannot have say 6 and 4 because if I take 6 and 4 then the sum is 10 but 0 is already gone. So, eventually I am down to only 2 combinations, they can either be say uh, 7 and 6 or they can either be 7 and 5 let me let me just 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 try this now if at all i take say combination 7 and 5 if i assign d as 7 and then if i take e as 5 so this becomes this becomes 7 plus 5 which is 12 and then y gets the value 2 so this is 7 plus 5 y gets the value 2 so what i understand is i give the value of d as 7 I give the value of E as 5, so Y gets 2. Now, once I get these values, I now know what are the values which are required to be substituted. Once I get the value of E, E plus 1 is going to give me N. So, if I have concluded E to be 5, N then automatically becomes 5 plus 1 as 6. So, this is how I can get all these values. So, over here, if you see, we've got unique values for each of these letters and when you add these values, you will end up getting this particular value and the values that we have assigned are these. Please understand, this is not a unique solution. It is possible that there might be different combinations which you can use and you can still generate the solution. But then, the only point that you need to understand is a lot of times what the students tend to forget is that they do not consider carry in each and every step. Unless I consider that carry, we will not be in a position to generate the proper solutions. Nothing difficult, nothing, nothing too tedious, but it will take a bit of practice and once you do that, you should be able to solve this on your own. If you have a little bit of free time, something nice to entertain you. So this is how we can, we can solve some problems on crypt arithmetic where you can assign values to certain characters now once this is done you can you can try this one on your own uh, on my slides to come i'm not going to discuss but i'm leaving you with the solution but first try your best get the solution if you can get it great if not my next set of slides will leave the solution for you you can go through them you can pause them read them and get the solution but positively you should not need any uh, any help for solving this one so here is the solution. We have given the explanation. At the same time, I have given you the values as well. These are the values which will fit into your requirement. If you need the explanation, this is what it is. Pause the slide, read it. You will know how did we come to that particular conclusion. So that, that's it. This is what we have as far as this chapter is concerned. You have the solution to the practice question. The end of the chapter for us, end of game playing. Thank you again for learning with Junk Minds. See you again with the next chapter. Take care. Goodbye as of now. Thank you.